Here's an algebra question uh, at the fifth grade level. They ask us, what is the value of n in the equation below? What they write is 65 plus n equals 310. So what, what does all this mean? Well, we're trying to find a number that you could add to 65, right? Some mystery number to get 310. And they give us some choices right here. Notice that out of these choices, right, the range is from 200 to 300. So we can eliminate two choices almost immediately by saying that, well, I know 300 plus 65 is bigger than 310, right? We're trying to find something to add to 65 to get exactly 310, right? They're equal. But if I add 300, right, plus 65, I'm already over 310. So there's no way that 375 or 365, which are even larger than 300, could be the answer. So it's either C or D. So let's try C to see what happens. So 245 plus 65. Okay, well 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1. That's 11. And we carried that over. 2 and 3 is, 2 and 1 is 3. That's 310. So the answer is C, 245. Now, how could you figure this out without multiple choice and without guessing? Well, there's a simple and important property that kind of guides us through questions like this. It tells us that if we take a number like 6, right, and we add 3 to it, that gives us 9. But, right, let's say we didn't know this mystery number right here. How could we figure it out? Well, you could take 9 and subtract 6, and that will be 3. The same thing is true in this problem. It's just the only difference is we have bigger numbers. So 65 plus, well, we know it, we know it's 245, equals 310. But of course, that means that, and this is what we could have done here, 310 minus 65 would equal our answer. How do we do this? Well, we have no ones here, so we borrow 10 from the 10 spot bring it over here. 10 minus 5 is 5. We have no 10s now, so we borrow 100, right? Make, that means 10 10s or 100. We have two hundreds left. 10 minus 6 is 4, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So the answer you could get by subtraction. And this connection between addition and subtraction is a really fundamental thing in math. It's really important. It's called inverse operations, and they'll really help you with a lot of your work with numbers and, and algebra in years to come. All right, thanks a lot.